All right, on today's video, we're going to butcher up this chicken. Now, several reasons for doing this. We've got a whole chicken. Buy the best chicken that you can afford because they're much more economical to buy as a whole bird. Um, and then butcher it up and preserve it in your freezer. So we're going to start with the butchering process. I've got one of the meat, made with meat, new knife sets. And I'm going to go ahead and get out the um, six inch curved boning knife as well as a steel. All right, here we go. So the first thing we want to do is turn this chicken over, pull this wing up. We want to go right down to that wing joint and then we want to follow that ball joint over and out. So we don't want to cut into the breast. There's one wing. I'm going to flip this bird around. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. There's our wings. Now I want to flip this bird back over. We're just going to make a cut just through the skin on either side. Once we do that, we want to snap both of those thigh joints right there. So once we have that snap, we can flip our bird over. See, we've got a line right here where we see the dark meat. So I just want to start right down along that line through that joint. Once we've got through that joint right there, we're going to follow this and we want to get that little, that little oyster piece to come along with it there. So you don't want to leave that. You want to stay right along the bone here. Get that nice oyster piece out of there. Trim off just a little bit of that. There's one leg and thigh, got that nice oyster piece on there. So on this side, we want to do the same thing. So we've already snapped that joint. It's going to come off nice, nicely for us. So I want to stay right along the bone. If I see I got a little piece of the bone, because the chicken bones are real soft. I can peel that off. There we go. All right, now we've got this bird at this spot right here, both wings, both legs removed. We want to take and loosen up these breasts. So we've got a fat line right here. Just want to start right on the inside of that fat line. I'm going to cut right down through here. Then we get down down to that wishbone area. Want to leave that side like that, flip the bird over. We're going to do the same thing. Just following that flat, that fat line. Right down around that wishbone. Again, you want to leave as much of the muscle on the carcass as possible. All right, now that we've got to that point, cut through some of this skin right here, get around that wishbone. We can just hold that muscle down, and just peel that right out of there, cut that off. So, A little more of the wishbone. Now we've got two nice boneless skin on breasts. I'm gonna cut that right in the center. Take that, just that tiny bit of cartilage out of the, the center right there. Now we've got some loose skin. But there you have it. We've got two breasts. Now let's finish up these these legs and these wings. So you flip these over, you got a little bit of a fat line right there and you want to go just, 
just to the drum side of the flat line, just to the drum side of the flat, the fat line, straight down through, easiest thing you ever did. So we've got thigh, bone in thighs, drums, breasts, these wings. Let's just go ahead and take these wing tips off. Get our wing tips off. <clears throat> Got our wings. You can leave them just like so, or you can cut them again if you want to make them into buffalo wings. Um, you can cut through this joint if you want your buffalo wings. Got your flats and your little drums. Carcass of the bird right here. Any skin we have. These are very valuable for stock. But now that we've got our first broke, bird broke down, we're gonna break down a couple more and then we're gonna vacuum seal them and show you how to preserve them in your freezer. All right, so I decided instead of actually cutting up my last chicken, you'll, you'll note that I'm cleaning the surface area of the vacuum bag. We're gonna go ahead and use our chamber vac, our tabletop chamber vac for meat here. I'm gonna put it to test on a, a whole chicken. So one of the things you know, commercial butchers, we love the meat made with meat commercial grade equipment because well we can't um, expect commercially available equipment that we use um, in the home use market meat has commercial grade home use equipment and it's fantastic so we're going to go ahead now this particular one we've got it turned on um, we've got an automatic bag setting so we're going to go ahead and toggle it over to the large bag and then we'll close the lid and automatically, this is gonna start sealing our chicken. So there you have it. We put it to the test. If you buy a whole chicken and you um, certainly want a roasting chicken in the freezer, you can just pop it in one of these bags, vacuum seal it, and it's ready to go in, bring it out, drop it in your crock pot. All right, so now that we butchered up the chicken, let's go ahead and seal up some of our parts. Different size vacuum bags here. Um, so now we've got our wings, put those in one of our bags. Got a really nice little wing meal there. Goes into the vacuum chamber. Got a nice little bag holder there. Now we're gonna toggle it over to our small bag. While that's going, let's pack up some more chicken. So maybe we wanna do, you know, whatever a meal size might be for you and your family. Wanna do a couple of, uh, couple of thighs in a pack. We can do kind of whatever your family size is. Now the great thing about it is under a vacuum like this in a three mil vacuum bag, you're gonna have a minimum of six months to a year shelf life in your freezer. Now, frozen foods are inevitably safe. Just quality begins to degrade if they're not vacuum sealed. So vacuum sealing is a great way to preserve foods that you buy at economical scale because you bought the whole bird and butchered it. It's a great way to preserve those foods for a great length of time. Ooh, you know what I want to do? I'm going to show you one more trick with this here in just a moment. One of the other things you'll want to do is go ahead and seal up these carcasses. Now, quick tip, at the expense of using up two bags, I want to show you a trick. So, I put it in that bag, 
Now I'm gonna take this, this is a butcher trick. I'm gonna put this inside of another bag. And the reason I did that, now when I seal this bag, I've got an extra layer of protection. So I've essentially got bone guard. I wanna be able to seal up these carcasses, bring them out for soup stock later. And by cutting that bag and slide it in there, Scott's hot tip, that's not going to break anytime soon. Let's test out the theory. Go over to large. So there you have it. The two carcasses with some bone wrap protection right there in a bag for you. All right, so while these two are sealing, we're gonna get set started on our next product. Scott's hot tip, this is gonna be two hot tips, so try to stay with me. Um, right on the bags, whatever pertinent information. So in this case, it's gonna be zesty, chicken, breasts, you can add your date so that way you know when it went in the freezer. That's Scott's hot tip. I'm actually going to write on the bags that I'm going to use here. Um, thighs, um, zesty. Now, you may be wondering why I'm writing zesty. I'm going to do drums, zesty. Got these ready to go. We're gonna put some seasoning on the chicken before we vacuum seal it. That is going to add a nice pre-season dry rub effect that when we pull this chicken out, that vacuum seal is actually gonna, it's gonna marinate into that chicken and today we're using Zesty, and I'm telling you, the smell just hit me, and it is making my mouth water. We've got real pieces of lime in here. It has such a unique bearded butcher, but zesty flavor to it. Now here's where it's important. You wanna keep this bag clean as possible from these seasonings. You want to try to drop it in there because what you don't want to do is get a bunch of seasoning where you're going to put your, um, where your seal bar is going to hit. So you can set them, get them in there and you can actually use a little bit of pressure to kind of put them where you want to go. But see how we have a nice clean. Now, if it does get dirty, you can just go ahead and use a paper towel Ooh, look at that pre-marinated zesty lime. All right, processing complete. Best words a butcher can hear. We've got a whole bird, perfectly tightly vacuum sealed. We've got our two carcasses and any skin or scraps for a stock. We've got a plain chicken. We've got a zesty line seasoned chicken. I mean, now this stuff goes into the freezer in just a short period of time. We broke down two chickens. You could do a half a dozen. You could do a dozen. You could do two dozen in, in a half a day. Um, note, this was for demonstration purposes. Obviously, for um, reasons of using less vacuum bags, you could fill them up put more in a bag is what I'm saying. But these are now ready for our freezer. In they go, you pull them out, you've got wing night, bone in thighs, drumsticks. Of course, these nice chicken breasts. If it's got that seasoning on it, it's gonna continue to marinate. We used the tabletop commercial grade 
made for meat chamber vac. We also, I use the six inch boning knife, which has a really nice feel and handle. Um, that comes as part of the bigger set that I showed you when we opened it up. They've also got this really nice roll. Take a look here. This is going to hold the knives. Obviously, um, the leather is going to protect them, protect that edge. It's going to protect you too, so that way that you're not exposing those. A really nice piece of equipment. And then um, we've got the uh, kitchen set as well. So this one's a little bit different than the um, first kitchen set with the, with the uh, plastic handles. This one's got basically everything you would use in your kitchen. It comes in this very nice countertop case. So some, that's some of the equipment we use today. Obviously the vacuum sealer came in clutch. Otherwise we wouldn't be able to preserve it this way. Very simple process, how to butcher and preserve a chicken at home. You get this equipment, you're gonna be able to do a lifetime worth of chicken. Hope you enjoyed the video. Scott Perkins from The Beard of Butchers brought you how to butcher a chicken, how to preserve it. We'll see you next time right here on The Beard of Butchers YouTube channel. I'm gonna show you the power of this vacuum chamber. Little scrub brushy here. He's not gonna be smiling when we, when we get him out of there, I'll show you. Oh no. Look at the power. Poor little, I guess he still is kind of smiling. You can make out a smile. Look at the power of the vacuum. Unreal, guys. Squished him down. Now this is the fun part. Watch this. We're gonna breathe new life into him. Oh, that's tight. There you go, we'll save you, buddy. Oh, look at that, smile's coming back.